Now don't get your panties all in a bunch. What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman. And a lot of people ask me if I've ever suffered any extreme cases of racism. And to be honest, no. I'm fortunate enough to say that I haven't. But since moving to LA, I have definitely had some people say some ridiculous things to me. But here's the thing, I find it effin' hilarious. Here are real things that white people have said to me. My dad's name is Sukwinder. Sukwinder. Su Sukwander. I'll just call your dad Sam. Oh my god, you're Indian? I loved Slumdog Millionaire. So your last name's Singh. Are you related to Ranveer Singh? You know, one of my coworkers is Indian. What a small world. So I went to like an Indian wedding once and I wore the full costume and everything. Your parents must be really strict. Did they expect you to get married at 23? I even belly danced to Bollywood music and I wore that little dot on my forehead. So why aren't you a doctor or a lawyer? Are you allowed to have a boyfriend? I went to a little India once and I got the best tandoori chicken. Do you speak Indian at home? Are you a very strict Hindi? So is your real name Lily? Stop lying. I've never met a real Indian Lily. Do you know Priyanka Chopra? She's Indian too, right? It's so terrible. Everything you see in movies about India. You probably want something spicy, right? You know who you look like? Mm. Mindy Kaling. You look so exotic. I thought you were from Brazil or something. You know, I've always wanted to visit Delhi. My friend went to India last year. It changed his life. So where are your parents from? Uh, they're from Punjab. Oh, that's in the Middle East, right? I will take the veggie burger, please. Is that because you're Islam? Do you have to get an arranged marriage? Did you experience, like, a lot of racism growing up? So you're not allowed to have sex before marriage, right? That's crazy. Here's the thing though, right? I don't believe that every person who says something ignorant is trying to offend me. I think maybe they just don't know any better and no one has schooled them. So this is my attempt to make you understand. Here's what the reverse would sound like. If I spoke to white people, how they spoke to me. Yeah, my dad's name is Peter. Pitar? Pitar. I'll just call him Brabjot. Wait, are you white? Oh my God, I love Taylor Swift. Wait, wait, Smith? Are you related to Derek Smith? He's also from America. Oh my God. The girl who served me a latte at Starbucks this morning was also white. So I totally get you. I went to a white wedding once, oh, beautiful, but it was so short. And your families are so tiny. You probably tell your mom to shut up all the time. I even did the chicken dance and wore a tie around my forehead. Oh, so cultured. Wait, so you're not a country singer? Are you allowed to be a virgin? Ooh. I went to Burger King once and I loved it. Wait, so do you speak fluent American at home? Or British? Or Scottish? Irish. Are you a strict English? So is your real name Sarah? Yeah. Oh my God, I know like nine white Sarahs. <laughs> Wait, do you know Ellen? She's also white. Yeah, love her. <sighs> it's so terrible. Everything you see in history books about White people. Ooh, you probably want something with no flavor, right? You look exactly like Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, like the features, everything. Wow. You look so... common. Ooh, I've always wanted to visit Utah. So cool. My friend went to Ohio last year and he said his life was exactly the same. And you're from Chicago, right? Mm-hmm. That's in Europe, right? Um, I'll take the steak and potatoes. Is that because your Christianity? So will your parents like force you to fall in love or are you allowed to get arranged? So do you have like a super hard time recognizing your privilege or are you aware of it now? Oh, I, I don't have any privilege. Oh, okay, so you're not. Is it hard to have so many options when you're shopping for foundation? Crap, they don't have any eggnog on the menu. Do you drink anything else? Well, look at your hair. Can I touch it? Do you mind? Can I... Wow, that is so soft. Is that natural? Yeah. It's beautiful. Look at his hair. Look at it. Yeah, touch it. So what's the religious symbolism of the hat? Wait, so let me get this straight. You actually turn red in the sun. Like you change color. That's crazy. I watched a documentary about your people called Super Size Me. So sad. So did they like expect you to be pregnant by 16? And there you have it. It's not meant to be offensive, right? Wait, wait, wait. Just... Aren't you actually related to someone named Renvier? Okay, what's this like? And Renvier. didn't your parents actually want you to get married at a really young age? Shouldn't y'all be doing like the YMCA or something? Get that out of here. Get out of my frame. Get up. It's all about one love. Thanks for watching. We're all friends.
this wasn't meant to offend anyone. It's just a lighthearted video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. You can check out my last video right over there. Bloopers for this video are right over there. Make sure you subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday. One love, Superwoman. That is a wrap. And YMC. <laughs> she tricked me.